comedy was just changing. The world sure is full of trouble these days. That cost me a nickel to find that out. I know that. Six months after I got there, the, we started getting uh, national attention, and it was the beginning of everything. Comedy, theoretically, is irreverent by nature, but this was irreverent on a, in a whole other way. I don't mean to seem like a prude, but uh, you're going to get kicked out of here if you don't watch out. We knew that this was the holy grail of improvisation, comedy, writing. We knew of all the famous people that had gone on to great careers. The greatest thing I remember about it is just being able to use anything that came to mind. We were just kind of rebellious and defiant, yeah. really, because we were a family of kids, basically. Nobody knew anything about television, not even the producers. Everybody smile now. <laughs> That's what made it so insane. <laughs> I ruined the show. <laughs> Don't take my step, please! I could have done Second City for the rest of my life, I think. <laughs> the Second City was monumental in every aspect of my career after I did it. Still coming up with you know, some of the best comics of the day. Take me in your arms! <laughs> Freeze! I went from high school to Second City, and I felt like I got accepted to Harvard. You think I'm funny? You're funny! And it, I think, shaped, completely shaped the kind of writer I am today and the kind of, and everything about me.